For this video, we're going to change our micro bit into a simple jukebox. So we're going to make it so it will play a couple of songs when we press the buttons. To start, we're going to click on input, on button A is pressed. Then we're going to go to music and scroll down to melody advanced. We're going to select the play block under melody advanced and snap that inside of the on button A is pressed block. For the melody, I'm going to change it to Ode to Joy. And instead of in the background, I'm going to select Intel Done. So let's test that out in our, our online simulator by clicking the button A. So we'll do the same thing now for button B. So under input, grab the on button A as press block, change that in the pull down menu to on button B. Under music, scroll down to Melody Advanced and select a second play block and snap that into place. I'm going to change this one into the Entertainer song and I'm going to again select in the pull down menu until done. So you can test that now in our simulator. Click on button B, you should hear the song. I'm going to also make it so that when we shake the micro bit, the tempo of the songs will speed up. So under input, select on shake. Then under music, you can scroll down to the tempo blocks and select change tempo. Right now it's changing the tempo by 20. I'm going to change it to change by 10. So if I play one of these songs, each time I shake the micro bit, it will speed up. So we can test that out in our simulator now. So I'm going to press on button A to play a song, and then I'm going to simulate shaking the micro bit in our virtual micro bit here. And each time I click it, it will get faster and faster. Finally, I'm going to make it so that when I press button A and B, our micro bit will play a song that we have written. Or you can make it so that it plays a song that you know already. So for example, sometimes I will have students write the notes for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star just to get used to it. I usually have somewhere around my classroom the treble clef notes labeled so that they can choose the proper notes um, using their musical notation skills in make code. So you can see we're going to do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star so we'll start with C C G G. So under input select on button A is pressed and change it to on button A and B is pressed. I'm just going to move it a little bit so you can see all of my code. Then go to music and under tone select the play button. So under tone I'm going to grab the play button and I'm going to start with middle C until done. I'm going to do that again and now we're ready to add the G. So we've got C, C. If you click on the tone you will see that the keyboard appears and we've got C, D. It shows you the notes labeled. That's quite handy. So I'm going to select G a couple of times. So I've got C, C, G, G. And we'll do the next part of the song too for A. So let's test that out by selecting in our simulator. So if you just click on the refresh button, you might have to do that. Sometimes it automatically refreshes. Now on your physical micro bit, you would press both A and B at the same time if you have the code downloaded onto it. But in this case, because we're using the virtual micro bit, I'm going to click on A plus B right here. So there you can hear part of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Typically students will either recreate songs that they know or they can write their own songs. After they download the code onto the micro bit, they can then play around with various materials to amplify the sound.